Europe was totally unprepared for this horrific plague. From 1346 to 1353, Europe was hit by the Black Death, also known as the Bubonic Plague. This deadly disease is believed to have originated in Asia and was caused by a bacterium called Yersinia pestis. The symptoms were absolutely horrible. Victims experienced fever, chills, weakness, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and painful swellings in their groin, armpits, and neck. And if that wasn't bad enough, they also had to deal with the plague's many, many side effects. These included pneumonia, septicemia, meningitis, and even death. But despite the extreme contagiousness and high mortality rate of the plague, it took a while for people to realize how dangerous it really was. In fact, at first it was largely ignored. There were a few cases here and there, but they went largely unnoticed or were just seen as particularly nasty cases of the common diseases like cholera and influenza. It wasn't until the summer of 1348 that the gravity of the situation became clear. By then, the plague had arrived in Sicily and quickly spread throughout the Italian peninsula. From there, it made its way north through France and England, where it caused massive devastation. Entire communities were wiped out and cities were abandoned. Even the famous English poet Geoffrey Chaucer was infected, though he survived the ordeal. One of the worst hit areas was the town of Emissa in France. By the end of 1348, half of its population had died. It wasn't until 1350 that people began to understand that the disease was spread by fleas that lived on rats. By this time, though, the damage was already done. The Black Death had killed an estimated 30 to 50 percent of Europe's population, which led to a massive decline in trade, industry, and agriculture. The Black Death also helped to cause the Great Famine of 1315 to 1317. In fact, some historians argue that the plague actually helped to bring about the end of the Middle Ages and the beginning of the Renaissance. So you can thank the Black Death for giving you all those nice art museums and the Renaissance you like so much. For more ways that the Black Death affected life in medieval Europe, stay tuned for more information.